Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey, welcome everybody. Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood Studio 3B. And today I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Paul Straherich of Master Plan Builders, one of the principals. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about residential building, uh, a little bit of light commercial, strong on the residential side, and we're gonna go through the process, and I'm gonna pick your brain, Paul, and, and, and talk about design trends, uh, options, the process that you take your customers through, and you know, even, even maybe jump into the financing of projects and so forth, but uh, first and foremost, thanks for being here this morning, Paul. Glad to be here, I appreciate the op opportunity to hey. converse with you from... <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this is a little bit different for us uh, in that we're, we're at Studio 3B. You know, who would have thought 33, 35 years ago, uh, we, were, we were looking at blueprints on the hood of a, of, of a pickup truck, right? Right. Now, 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 we're, doing, now we're doing this. And, and uh, Paul, you know, that, that goes back. Uh, we, I, I remember pulling onto your job site, what you still call your home, and and we were we were we were younger then. <laughs> yeah, right. we both had a lot of hair. I think back then, <laughs> a lot more hair. But yeah, yeah, it's been. Uh, I, I said we were. I was coming here when the showroom was about as size as studio. I mean, honestly, you know, 19, uh, 1983 we started business and. Uh, and you were the only salesman, maybe, maybe uh, store manager, oh, salesman, gosh. sales manager. We were yeah. certain families. Yeah, we were. Yeah. We were certain families. At home, I, uh, my my son's, uh, he's he's creeping up on thirty three, and yours. Mine's uh, a thirty one this August. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, you know. So we, we it, it was always fun. It was always fun, and that's Studio Three B is is a reflection of fun. Um, I know you 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 went you went head first into the waters when 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 your boys got into got into baseball and 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 my son was going through it and we always had conversations about oh, yeah. that yeah you know yeah, yeah I did I, I uh, we we did a lot of traveling and uh, he ended up actually playing baseball in college which was fun and uh, I would you know I, I wouldn't miss work for anything but but baseball that was, <laughs> that was that, I guess that was one of my big things and it's, I still do a lot of it today but. Uh, but you know, I, I kind of you have to balance it with work, and it was a it was a tough deal when we were uh, going through it at the same time. I was doing a lot of coaching too. Oh yeah, uh, like were, yeah, we know. coached and 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 had fun. And folks, if you're out at the ball diamonds, pay attention to the guy behind the plate with the mask on. That's why I wear the mask, so, huh? so no one knows who I am. <laughs> yeah, I still I still umpire uh, local. Uh, you you and, umpire yeah. a ton. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. I've been slowing down a little because I've got. Two grandkids that I uh, might start coaching here lately. So I can't get away from coaching, you know. So uh, I, I go to I go to the sporting events, and I think I could I could coach better than that. So but, you, know, you know, it's hard but, standing it's hard on the start, outside yes, of the fence, exactly, right? Yes, right? Right? Yeah, it, it really is. I, I, I so, experienced uh, it. I, I I know, you know. And when when the kids got into when the kids got into high school ball, and you were on the outside of the fence. And you're thinking, what are they thinking? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. No, actually, that's part of why I got into umpiring because uh, you know I used to give the umpire such a hard time. I thought, well, maybe it's time to give back. So now I let the I let the fans and coaches yell at me. So how fun's that? If though? I ever do have you out on the field, come up and say hi to me, and I'll give your kid a, a ball instead of a strike, maybe. So <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot! So hey, <clears throat> you mentioned 1983. Uh, the, you and your brother, what were you thinking? Oh yeah, well, yeah. Let, uh, my mother still asks me that question. She's, <laughs> she's 86, and she says, uh, "You know, I went to college for four years uh, at Baldwin Wallace and uh, and earned a uh, business degree and 
came home and went into the building business, you know, and it was a, it was a win. My brother, Bob always did it. He loved it. He worked for a, a commercial roofing contractor and we started remodeling and doing some little additions, you know, here and there. And he said, you know, let's, let's start a business. And, and I was in the tobacco sales at the time. And, you know, I didn't smoke tobacco. I didn't like tobacco. So I thought, well, <laughs> why am I here? You know, so that's, a, that's kind of how we started. And, and, and we did. We, we did additions and, and we spent more late nights. I missed, you know, more weddings and, and different events, you know, and rehearsal dinners because I was trying to finish up a remodel when I should have been at the wedding with my wife, you know. And, uh, but, but, you know, when you're in somebody's house Friday at 9 o'clock, you want to finish. You don't want to come back Saturday morning, you know. So we did a lot of that over the years till, uh, you know, in our first couple of years, we built maybe one house, two houses, you know, and uh, it was 19, 1983, 84. Interest rates were probably in the 18%, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, we, I thought, well, you know, I, I'm young. I could always go back to selling tobacco or selling something if, uh, you know, if this didn't work out. And, uh, yeah, well, we, you, you know what, in, 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 you look, you look back to 1983, 84, 85, and the, the investment of time that you and your brother put towards the business. And now here we are today and I, I enjoy seeing it. We're, we're doing conversation like this and I know your company is very strong on, on the social side and <clears throat> you guys, you guys spray it out there. I mean, whether, whether it's projects that you have going on, past projects, upcoming projects, you guys are staying busy, no? Yeah, we are. We, we've been, we've been really blessed, Steve, uh, <clears throat> in the up markets, the down markets. I mean, we've, we weathered the storm and, uh, as you know, me and Bob, we, you know, we started in the field. We, we did everything. We did roofing, we did framing, we, we learned it on the way up. You know, we insulated, we hung drywall in houses. I mean, it, we did things that, that I wouldn't recommend for anybody to do, but, uh, but we did it and, you know, we had fun with it. But, but as we got, we got older, you know, the, my son came into the business, Rob, my, uh, my nephew is, uh, it, you know, heads up our kind of uh, blueprint drawing area. And, uh, my son does the design work. So it's really, and we've got a young guy, Adam, uh, that does a lot of our IT stuff for us. And he's the guy that's out there with the presence and, uh, the three young guys really <clears throat> keep keep us, uh, you know, out in front of the public, I guess. And me and Bob are on site all the time. We we love building, and we don't want to we don't want to do the uh, the marketing. We, I don't want to do this stuff, but, but you talked me into it, so <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's okay. And, and but, hey, uh, hey, buddy, uh, you know, I I have I have trouble calling you Paul because I've always known you as Smiley, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, it's changed, but. You hit on something. I ran into your brother last week. He was walking out of the showroom. You know, <clears throat> you guys are still out beating the pavement. You know, oh, yeah. you're 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 running you're running between job sites. You're meeting you're meeting homeowners, um, your customers, and you're still out. Run, you're you're running around picking up materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, well, I tell you, there's nothing we like more than. Than you know, than seeing our job sites, you know, because we know what's going on with them. We can see what stages they're in, if they're clean, how the material is being put together. You know, I love coming out here and seeing the guys in the shop. I mean, I still, you know, I was mentioning earlier, I harass them. You know, I say, you know, I, I've been here for a lot longer than any of them have. I think, you know, I mean, you're the only guy that's got seniority on me. You and maybe some of the, some of the office people. But, uh, right, right. You know, but so I, so I, and I enjoy it. So I, you know, when I'm sitting in the office, I don't get you know, in interaction with the guys in the field. So, so we do, we love it. We, uh, that, that's what keeps us going, honestly. You know, and, and, and the neat thing about it, uh, because of our relationship, uh, Baird Brothers, family owned, uh, master plan builders, and like Baird Brothers, and you alluded to it a little bit, you're multi-generational now. Yeah, correct. Yeah, we are. We, 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 so there's you and Bobby, right. your brother. Yes, uh, Zach, my my oldest son, and then uh, and Rob, Bob's oldest son, and uh, and then Adam. Adam is is one of our one of our main guys there. But but uh, and, and Rob's Rob's boys have been out and they've helped us on uh, on job sites. You know, which is our third third or fourth gen third generation. 
and uh, and my youngest son was with us for a couple of years, but he uh, moved on to, to other other avenues, you know. So, uh, but yeah, and and uh, Bob's wife Patty was still involved, you know, right along with the, with the design work and some of the color coordination, you know. And now Rob's uh, new bride is uh, is involved also in the business. So we uh, we've kept it uh, pretty much a close knit, you know, family. You know, oh, wow. really like you guys. I mean, it's and it, and when I think back and and look, you know, Steve. The, I think, and I didn't, you know, I haven't thought about this too long, but I think that Bear Brothers is probably the only company that we started with in 83, 84 that we're still with. You know, lumber yards have changed over, changed names, painters, plumbers, everybody has come and gone along the way, you know, and, uh, but, but for 35, 37 years, we've been dealing with you guys locally and, uh, and we, we've always have, you know, we, we like, we like the products and we, we like what you have here to offer us. <clears throat> and that, first off, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, that, that speaks volumes. And, and what we've seen, Master Plan Builders and Baird Brothers, we've, we've paralleled one another through the years as far as growth and bringing uh, in, in Baird Brothers' case, second generation, third generation now. <clears throat> and it didn't happen overnight. It's taken time. It's taken a lot of hard work. Uh, I, I mean, I've, I, I've been fortunate in meeting you on job sites, your brother Bob on job sites over the years. And, and uh, it, it's been a fun ride. It, it really has been a fun ride. Uh, you put tireless hours in still today because you are so hands-on on your projects, right? Yeah, we, yeah. <clears throat> we do. We, we, uh, like, like you mentioned, I was in Florida, you know, for a week over the holidays and, uh, <laughs> and I had more phone calls and, uh, in an interaction with you and with other people that have called because I just, it's hard to turn it off. You know, you, it's hard to something you've been working on for three, four, five months or for 35 years. You, you just can't stop that. And you want to, you, you know, you want to answer the questions that, that need answers. You want to get back to people. So, so we, yeah, it's, it's, but it's, it's part of our life, you know, so it's hard to, well, everybody says, you know, you need to, you need to get away from that. And I, and I said, well, it's almost impossible sometimes because it's, it's inbred in us, you know, and we love, we, we love being a part of it. Your, your product is, is not a, a cookie cutter product per se. You know, it's each, and, and I, I have been blessed to have been involved in some fantastic products. Uh, some of my coworkers, Derek Donatelli, you're, you, you've worked for years with, with yeah. Derek, and, and uh, we, had, we had a project uh, a few years back just around the corner here in, in Covington, right? Right, right, right. And, uh, you know the product or the the project I'm referring to was that was that the biggest project you guys have undertaken yes that was that was uh <clears throat> that was about a three and a half year project for us and that was one residence I mean it was uh it, I, I look at the pictures now that you guys still have on, on your <laughs> website we have videos of them and uh and the, the project was yeah, uh, it was so much fun it was because because we, we got to interact and and design and, and and go through various stages with them and it was, you know, it was five floors of, of different, different product. You know, we, we used a lot of Brazilian cherry, solid cherry doors. I mean, it was really interesting. Uh, it, 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 was, it was our biggest project and our longest project, uh, but it, it really was kind of, a, kind of a nice feather in our cap when we were done because it's probably, I think interior-wise, one of the nicest homes in the area. It, it, it has to be. You know, you know, that's that, and we're referencing the Kopitich project. Um, we supplied material to that project and you guys and your team of, of fantastic craftsmen, uh, we did things in that house that we've never done before. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. We did a lot of prototypes to, to get, to, we used to supply, you know, some people that you worked with, uh, with molding companies that had, yeah. had not been around. We, we had a pool in it with architects. Uh, we had, uh, 
<clears throat> one of our one of our partners, uh, White River. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you used a lot of White River product in that project, along along with uh, uh, Baird product. We and correct me if I'm wrong, but we came up with you came up with and your homeowner uh, Tony and Patty, right? Correct. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. Um, they came up with an idea as far as a casing and baseboard, and we ran that specifically for that project. Uh, that's correct. Right. We made our own. You, you guys made nice for us. We just because we wanted something a little bit different, and uh, they ended up putting them. I think Tony has them hanging in his uh, his man cave. <laughs> it's, 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 How big was that project? That project was uh, about thirty thousand square feet under roof. It's uh, it was between the the primary residence and, and uh, the, the guest the quarters, quarters and the and the, the and the garage and so forth. Has a, has a tunnel to the theater <clears throat> area and uh, they had bowling lanes and you know it's it's uh, had had a diner. They did a real neat diner. I mean it, everything was just you know you just can't can't embellish on what they did because it was so so unique. So you know. So, so so much attention to detail there, I guess. And 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 I and I have to ask, <clears throat> and I don't believe we've ever talked about it. How did how did how did they come to find Master Plan? Well, actually, we had built them a, a house in the neighborhood earlier. Earlier, we we uh, we were the developer of Covington Creek, and so we built them their first house. And because of the relationship we had and the and the quality, and they wanted to they wanted. To, upscale a little bit and so we moved uh moved down the street actually is what it was and and started negotiating for lots and and uh and they put that on actually the house sits on about five acres there's three lots there that we had to combine to to put it on but uh but we we i sat down with tony i could you know remember the day like it was yesterday you know we started talking and uh and it, the house had changed from you know we probably started with ten thousand square foot to to 30 i think is you know because we added so many rooms to it so many floors as we were building uh, which was and that was the that was the, the kind of the fun of it in the intrigue is that tony and patty were open to letting us you know have some free hand in design work so it really every day they'd come down and i think for three and a half years i don't think they left town i think <laughs> you know, i think we, we camped out there you know and, and they uh, they came down and we we would uh, we would add things and 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 you know and uh, it really uh, like i said with, with all the uh, all the neat detail to uh, the products you guys offered and, and we had we made special doors I think the doors were uh, were one of a kind that we hadn't we, we had never used before and you know I'm not sure if they were made before or not but we and 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 you you bring it up the the products in that what were some of the, you mentioned the doors uh, and and if I recall there was there was a boatload of Brazilian cherry yeah. flooring Correct. Yes. Right. So the, almost the almost the entire house was, was the dessert. the custom casing and baseboards. Uh, they, they were all solid chair. There was a, it was a uh, five and a half inch profile that we had we had detailed with that knife, and I think a, a nine and a half inch cherry base, base that baseboard. Was baseboard that we had. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and and if I'm not mistaken, we actually. Uh, Produced a, a custom crown mold, a couple different custom Pro, crown moldings crown, for that did, project. Right, we did, yeah. The, <clears throat> the office of Patty's office was uh, had oh about an eight layer crown mold in it with a with a coffered ceiling when we were done. It was all cherry. The whole, I think the whole entire house was cherry. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, well, there was. I'm sorry, there was one bedroom I think we had painted the girls. Uh, yeah. Her, her granddaughter's bedroom, you know. Uh, but <clears throat> but other than that, the whole whole house was a was stained cherry. That's. <clears throat> that project was, and and you you referred to it as a nice feather in you guys' hat. It was it was it was a heck of a feather in you guys' hat, uh, and and you got it done. But take me take me through your your product range. <clears throat> uh, that's not the only house style that right, you build. No, no, right. Take take right. me through your styles. <laughs> Square footages, some of your projects. Uh, you mentioned you you guys developed Covington Creek, right? And there's there's other developments with your with your names on them. Uh, take me through that. Sure. 
So, so we start. Our very first one was where I still live. I've been there for 28, 29 years, I guess. That's what we were talking about building our, our same house together at the time. Uh, the Heather's over in uh, Boardman Canfield area. Yep. That was so. Uh, we were real green at the time when me and Bob went in there and started started cutting down trees and. And roadways. Let, let me interrupt you for just a second. And we had, I, you just threw me back. I remember asking you when you were building your home, I said, Smiley, what are you thinking? You're building your house in your subdivision and you're building all the homes on the street. You're never going to get away from your problems. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I mean, everybody asked me that question. And, and at that point, I thought, yeah, maybe I should sell it. But, but, but no, I, uh, you know, I thought, you know what, we, we stand behind our product and we believe in it so much that if I can't drive past you as my customer, then I shouldn't be building your house. I, I mean, honestly, and that, that's, that's the way we believe today. I mean, we, we, we're not afraid of customers. I mean, we, you know, we... We joke that, you know, I don't want to get stopped by them, you know, daily on my way home when I'm late for a five o'clock baseball game. But, uh, but, but no, and, and I, I still live there. And, and, and there's a lot of us that are originals and we laugh about that. You know, maybe, maybe half of the development might be, but, but because it's a, it's a nice neighborhood, we, we try to build neighborhoods, you know, in quality. Yep. And, 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 you know, we believe that when you drive through one of our neighborhoods or developments, you can notice the difference between somebody that is is selling lots or it, that doesn't have a lot of building experience, you know, because it's, you, and, and, and I, I mean, you don't have to be an expert to see that, but you can drive through and, and, and notice there's a, there's a little bit of difference. We, we take pride in, in a lot of things we do. There's, you know? there's, there's the word I was looking for. It's, 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 it's not your project. It's, it represents you and Bobby and, the second generation exactly. now yeah. and everybody involved and and you take pride in that and you living in that subdivision for that number of years <clears throat> if master plan builders weren't master plan builders that could have been a miserable <laughs> experience yeah, yeah. the rest of my life right yeah, <laughs> right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well <laughs> and, the, and the, the other side to that see you know is that it, it's funny but but <clears throat> when we uh you know, when we, when we build in different neighborhoods, and we build, we com compete, you know, next to each other, or, and, and we, we look at different things, and we say, you know what, we, we, we've had to take our foot off the gas at times, because, you know, because we want to go, 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 and there's been a point where we were going too fast. We couldn't, you know, we just could not keep up the quality that we wanted to, so we actually backed off, and we have to say no sometimes. You know, we, no one wants to say no to a, to a $500,000 <coughs> contract, but you do sometimes, because you know you don't have the manpower to put the best quality out there that, you know, that people are expecting of us. So, but, so, but we started the Heathers, we were doing a lot, a lot of different areas. Park Harbor was another one. Uh, right now, and we've diversified quite a bit. Right now we've, we've gone down into Columbiana County quite a bit. The, the city there with the, they have a CRA, uh, Community Reinvestment Act, that's really spurred on a lot of building. And a lot of our developments uh, have taken us that way. You know, we, we built Old Saybrook, which is a multi-unit. We have some carriage homes, some some uh, rental units. We have uh, custom homes there too. And uh, and back bay at Arrowhead, we, we we did a lot of work there. We've just recently bought uh, the old lakefront golf course, and uh, it's about a 54-acre development that we're going to get started on there. <clears throat> what type of project is that going to be? Single family? Yes, it's going to be, well, we've got some commercial property on the, on the borders because it borders 164 and Route 46. But, uh, so we're going to do some, some commercial, maybe some retail on the, on the exterior. And then we're going to, we're going to nestle homes on the interior with some nice green space. We're going to do a lot of green space area there. Uh, we hope to. That's, that's, and, and you mentioned, uh, uh the town of Columbiana. They've, they've really been proactive in, in forward thinking, right. um, incentives uh, to, to get people to come down to Columbia. And, it, and it's, a, it's a beautiful village. You know, it is, right. And it, they really have been proactive. They, they have. They, they've, uh, with, with, with the, the council there and, and the city administrator, Lance, have really worked well with us and, and, and we have a good relationship with them. And, and they're, they're, they, want, they want to see growth. I mean, they want to keep it quaint and the nicest uh, city in America, but they, you know, or, yeah. but, but they, but they do, they do want it to grow, you know I mean? They, Cause it's the best, it's a good secret. I mean, it really is with, with the homestead and, and Firestone Farms on the other end of town and our developments on, 
on the you know the western side it, it, it there's a lot to offer right now and uh so we we've been we've been real busy there and uh, and it, it's it's been good for us you know and the the but from product range again we go from you know from probably 250 300 thousand dollar carriage homes or standalone villas uh we have some duplexes and then we go with the, the homes in in old saybrook range and right now we're between uh 400,000 to probably uh you know close to eight nine hundred thousand i mean so there's so there's a range there for for everybody so so in that in that uh that range you and 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 i know i i know for a fact and 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 you know you use the whole scope of our products of of baird brothers products uh, we can go from uh, the the uh, masonite style doors uh, hollow core solid core on through you know with the with the uh, more economical casing and baseboards and then in in the in the case of like a Kopatich project you just blew the doors off right but we, you use you use baseline entry product and then the extreme product we, we do correct yeah we do and, and then we do some exterior stuff with the cedar we use a lot of cedar product you know and then as you get into you know talking about trends too because we, we we don't discuss that very much but the the trends now you know with the craftsman look there's a lot of cedar accessories we're doing with columns and beams and you know a lot of the solid product we've been ordering are you know eight by eight columns and and you yeah. know and two two by twelve headers and porch roofs and and it really does a nice accent job but it's expensive and that's when you know that that price category starts starts creeping up but it's you can't replace the look of that cedar entranceway or, or, or cedar uh, you know columns that type of thing that and that's where that, that's where you know you're kind of a one-stop shop for us as far as the, the wood product and and so. greatly appreciated and and but you, you you're you're talking about you know you were you were talking about the entry the exterior entryway and and that's that's one thing about you guys you know there's curb appeal and a lot of people live on that curb appeal and you go inside and it's plain jane you guys don't stop on the outside you we, you take our did. products inside we, yeah yeah no, you, you're right i i've you know, we've all been to those developments that, you know, the, the houses look like a million dollars on the outside and then they look like, you know, a hundred dollars on the inside. E exactly. And, and we don't. We, we give the people what they want, but, but sometimes we'll give them more, you know, and try to nudge them that way because, you know, a solid door obviously is, is you know, a little bit nicer than a hollow core door. A little, you know, it, it's a little better for sound and, and for wear and tear and that type of thing. And in casings, I mean, there's, there's, and I can say this to this day right now because we have never used a product that wasn't solid wood. I mean, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about poplars and oaks and, you know, there's product that's out there that's solid wood that's not solid wood, I guess uh, yeah, I'm trying, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to allude to. You know, and uh, I, I had somebody one time build, build a house and they told me, they said, you know, they, the builder told me I was getting solid wood. But the corners keep chipping off well because <laughs> it was you know it was mdf and, it, and it's a wood product but it's not you know it's not like a poplar so so we to this day have never used an mdf product for interior trim and we, we won't i mean just because you know we, we believe that if if you're going to build a house with us then we're going to give you good quality material that and, and that's, that should last you that, know last that, that's it and that's i mean you know uh relating it to the construction industry uh, just like building a house, you start with the foundation, and and you guys, you guys, you build on a strong foundation, and from top to bottom, whether it be the siding material, whether it be the interior doors from Baird Brothers, uh, the roofing materials, you've been doing it, you've you've got the experience, and you know, and and you you kind of led into it that having conversation with a customer. Just like, just, we've, we've, we've met on job sites uh, countless times. Oh yeah. And, and you would, you would ask myself or, or uh, Derek Donatelli or Dick Ferguson on uh, other sales reps from Baird Brothers over the years, 
and they would make a suggestion. Maybe this would work better for your application. And, and you guys were always open to that because, oh, yeah, that's going to give us a nicer end product in the form of a home, right? Right. So <clears throat> forget the past 33 years, 35 years, whatever, whatever it's been. Moving forward into 2022, the world's changed, uh, but people still need homes. They need housing. Do you see any trends coming forward in 2022? Design trends, square footage. Do we need, you know, uh, do we need a 3,500 square foot home, or can we get by with a 2,500 square foot home? What do you? What, what are it's, your thoughts it's, on it's, that? It's interesting. Uh, yeah, we we have we've come a, a long way from. 30 years ago, or, yeah, we, we were talking about, you know, even like with cell phones and, and whatnot, you know, that uh, we, we didn't have them when we started, you know, or they, they rang a horn in our truck, we'd have to run down and answer, you know, so some days I want to want to go back to that, I get more exercise, you know, but, uh, but no, it's, we, we see a lot of, uh, a lot of the craftsman type feel and look is, is really coming, coming through right now, uh, darker windows, you know, blacks and, and and grays and different colors you didn't have before. You know, when we started, there was a white window, honestly. Right, you right. Know, then there was Santone and, you know, Anders had three colors. Now there might be 10 or 12, you know, but, but the dark windows, uh, you know, with the, with the lighter exteriors, the whites are, are real popular, it seems like, right now. And, and, I, and the, the square footage is a good point because in the day we were at 3,000, 32. It, that was just standard, you know, when you drive right. around Borman Camp and you see a lot of those homes. But now, like in, even in Old Saybrook, you know, we're, we're in a niche, a lot of ranch homes because our clientele is, you know, is maybe moving on a little bit, you know, they're empty nesting maybe. But, but the two stories are, they're, they're, they want to put more quality into them and stay in, in a 22, 24, 2500 square foot two story. You know, because you can get a lot of nice house for that and still not overprice yourself, you know, and, and still put in granite countertops and solid wood cabinets and, and interior trims. And that's a, that, see, that's the things we, we talk about with people. We, we, we'd much rather, you know, don't, don't over your budget yourself where you're going to have to start skimping on items or, or allowances that people, you know, aren't. I always tell people, that, you know, I don't give you a price to start your home. I give you a price to finish your home. So there's a big difference. You know, some, some builders out there, when, you know, your second mortgage before you're finished, you know, because somebody missed their homework on the way through the process, you know. So, so you know, go, going, going through the process, too, I guess, is is another thing we do with customers, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. So on, on the interior, you, you mentioned the, the craftsman design. Uh, and I know, I, I know uh, Master Plan has done homes from strict contemporary interiors to uh, the, the ultimate traditional interiors. Uh, what, do you, what do you see yourself doing? Are you using natural wood products, uh, stained and varnished or varnished, or, or do you see the paint trend catching up? Uh, we're seeing a little bit of both. The paint trend, I think, is still a little bit faster growing market right now. We, we, we've done a lot of painted interiors, uh, this, but some of the highlight areas, the, the built-in cabinetry, uh, the staircases, are going with a stain product that to, so you know like a kind of a mix so you don't get all stain and the, the white white oak is real popular and i wish i would have put bought stock in white oak uh, you know a couple of years back <laughs> you, you, it, you know it's funny it's funny you mentioned that because one of one of our other partners that we greatly appreciate uh in the form of this old house uh we've completed nine projects with them to date over the last three and a half four years and Every project where we've supplied hardwood flooring to, it's been white oak. Whether it was quarter sawn white oak or plain sawn white oak, uh, we've used it. And we've, we've just, here at Baird Brothers, we've seen the demand for white oak just go through the roof. I mean, uh, and it's a, it, it's a fantastic hardwood floor, it really is. What are you seeing as far as floor coverings? People, people are, are leaning towards that, that hardwood floor? Yes, they are. They're, they're <clears throat> car we're not seeing a lot of carpet. We're seeing a lot of hardwood floors. We're seeing a lot of the LVT floors that are, that are 
you know, simulate a hardwood when you're, when you can't afford the, the natural hardwood uh, or don't want the maintenance of it because it's a little bit more maintenance. But we do a lot of staircases in the, in the white oak or the, or the, or the poplar with a stain to, to pick up, you know, some accents along the way. But, uh, but yeah, we, we have, we've, it's, we, the hardwood is really, and, and white oak's probably our, our biggest one, but, but, uh, you know, the, the traditional oak is still out there. And then we use a lot of, uh, like I was saying, poplar on the staircases too, uh, if it's a little <clears throat> bit more economical. And, and I'll call myself old before I say it, looking back and, and you remember it's, it's, it's a cycle and whether it's driven by the cabinet industry that has a, a large influence or the designers, the interior designers. You and I can remember back when the blonde maple was it, the white maple, everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, right, right. We, we put cabinets in the house and thought a couple times, you know, yeah. how, how long till this loses its appeal, I guess, right? Really, yeah. Exactly, you know, and now, and as far as kitchens, and, and we don't dive into into kitchen cabinetry, but I mean we offer we offer custom cabinet doors and et cetera, you know, and, and all the components to to build those. But you're you're seeing a neat trend, and I've I've been in some of your homes where I know you guys have have used it. <clears throat> the mix of the natural hardwood cabinetry. And then maybe the center island or an accessory cabinet is painted. Great, right. That's yeah. That's that that's real popular right now too. Yeah, we, we, we're doing doing a lot, and it's it's a nice look because again, you can introduce different product with you know with, with the all white painted trim or off white type of trim. But it's it's a nice look. But but you're right. I I remember the when we were talking naturals, the natural maple was really oh. big back in the day. Remember? Oh yeah. And, uh, I don't remember the last time we used a maple as a trim. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's just not it's not there right now. Oh well, that and then you know we went from we went from that stage and then we went into we went into the red oak. I mean, red oak is it's it's the core American hardwood, whether it be doors, flooring, uh, moldings, and we went through that and and now it's it it just seems like. Uh, People, builders, homeowners have expanded their their horizon in that. No, let's do this. Let's do that, and and uh, I've I've witnessed it, and and they're through the natural hardwood products. It's it's like a blank canvas. Right. Yeah. You can you can create and and do whatever you want inside of your home, and it doesn't have to be mono. It, you know, no, it's, right. it's it's mix and match, and and give each room their their own identity. Correct. You're right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. We did done more mix and match in last year, this year, and, and you know than we have ever probably with cabinetry and uh, and and stained and painted products. So it it really it it's you you hit it on the head. I think when you said you know give each room its own identity because that's what people are creating you know, more custom rooms as opposed to a custom house, you know, to go with again. So I know uh, from from my office view up, up, up front in the offices that I look out over the parking lot and I, I see master plans vehicles in and out of here quite often, thankfully. And, <clears throat> and you've experienced the last two years the same way we have experienced the last two years in, in our, our, our pandemic situation, you guys had to shift gears too and adjust and, and try and keep your jobs on, on time. And how did, how did you guys fight your way through that? that, that that's why you see my trucks here so often. You know, <laughs> usually I get it delivered at one time, and, and, you know, but, but it, it, it's been tough. We, we, I just was telling a guy was the other day, I said, you know, it's, we can't, we have to shift gears. We're, we, we, we work on this house for, till we run out of material or till something doesn't come in, you know, then we're on, on another project just, just because, you know, we're waiting for, you know, garage doors, appliances, flooring products. So we, we started, we started some, uh, some lease units down in the back bay and uh, we've had to switch floors probably three or four times since we started them because of time lags and, and, and you know, yeah. and, and sh shipping, shipping and, uh, and supply chain issues, you know, so, 
So it's been, me and Bob both said it's, it's been our two toughest years as far as juggling. And you know, I feel like a clown sometimes. I mean, you know, I, I need to pick up some bowling pins and juggle them because- Project management. You know, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's all we do. We, we, we spend a lot of time on moving subs, moving, and we have our own employees, which is different from a lot of contractors. You know, we have our own trim carpenters and our framers. So we, it's nice we have multiple projects going where we can move them and ship them when, when product doesn't show up. You hold know? So hold on to them. That's why my vans are here all the time when I'm looking, you know, when, when I have to move and start a job I, I wasn't planning on, you know, so, but, but no, it's been, it's been tough. And hopefully, you know, I, I don't know about, I'm not a supply chain, you know, guru, but, but boy, I hope something gets figured out where, uh, you know, the, this next coming year. And that's, I, I honestly, and this is just not because I'm doing this interview right now, but the one consistent has been Bear Brothers because you guys do a lot of your stuff locally here, maybe all of it. You know, I'm not waiting for your stuff to come in from California like I will with appliances or, or whatnot. So, and, and, you know, we, we, we found ourselves, uh, we've been very fortunate. We've been blessed in, 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 in the sense that our, our natural resource uh, in, in our hardwood lumber, uh, the supply chain, as you reference, it's 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 local. Whether it be Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, Indiana, uh, down into West Virginia, that's you know we've we've been able to maintain that. Demand has has increased. We mentioned the white oak. The white oak, you know, we that of our of our product line, the white oak, we've seen uh, the price has escalate, uh, but not nearly like the framing. You know, we might be talking 30, 35 percent. The framing lumber, what would it do to you? Oh, yeah, I, it, yeah it, it went it went over 100 percent at, at times. It, you know, yeah. and yeah. and um, we've been fortunate that way. And and just like you guys, we retain a, a fantastic workforce in in our guys. Uh, they they've they've stuck uh, they they've stuck with Baird Brothers through through the through the tough times uh, two years ago in, in March and April. And, and that's, that's, that's who Bairds are. Right, correct, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah I, I can't say enough about our guys, you know, because they are, they're, lo they're, they're loyal, they're true to us, and they're local. Every, everybody we use like you guys, you know, and, and, and using you, we're, we're, you know, we're local guys where we can, you know, we see what's going on and we can help out, you know, a family if, if we need to, if that's a need or, you know, and the, and the other thing about us as far as having our own sub, our own subcontractors and employees is that when we have a situation where we need to get somebody in because they sold their house or they, you know, they, they there's something came up and they, they need to move, we can move on a little bit faster sometimes because uh, we're able to, you know, move employees around a little bit. So, so our employees have been a big, uh, yeah, big blessing to us. They really have. So, <clears throat> going back, going back to master plan and uh, uh, the building process, just like coming to Baird Brothers, it you can take somebody. We 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 have folks come in, and you and I have experienced and done it. Scratch, scratch a door design down on a napkin, and bring it in, and we'll run it through our engineering and and come up with drawings and and this and that and take it through production. You guys, from the time they walk in to you guys' storefront, it's, it's the same scenario. You, you have prospective homeowners coming in and they'll give you the menu. I like this, I like that, I like this, I like that. Can you accomplish it? And take me through that process real quick. Oh sure. So we, we and we get we get the variety. I mean, we get from you know A to Z. You, you, you know how that works. But but I I, t I tell people too. That there's a if you're out looking for property, you know a lot of people come to us and say, "Well, I just bought this lot," and I'll take a look at it or we'll pull it up on a GIS or, or whatnot. And I said, "Man, if you would have called me before you bought this lot, you know maybe you could have did something different because sometimes property." Is deceiving, you know. There could be high tension <laughs> wires or underground transmission easements. You know, you can't do septic. Cause some people will buy out in the country. You, you know, you can't get septic approval on that lot because there's, there's, you know. So, so now they're in a real pickle, you know. So, so I, I always say if you, if you're thinking about buying property or a lot, 
you know, maybe call, call first, call us first and see if we can find anything out on it because there's most of it's public knowledge, you, you know that. Right. So, and then, then we usually sit down with them and, and fill their needs out. And Rob is, Rob is our, our architect des design guy inside. And he's real good as far as, you know, setting up the meetings and, and trying to clarify, you know, budgets, size, what, what, you know, what, what, what are the hot, hot buttons, you know, cause everybody has a hot button. You know, so it either, you know, it's, it's master bedroom space or closets or basements or, or what have you. Uh, and then, so we try to get that preliminary design going before we start pricing. And, and as we're, we're putting it all together with the preliminary design and, and, and the blueprint, then we can get a feel for, you know, where they're going to end up price wise, you know. And, right. and I tell people a lot of times <clears throat> when they call us cold and, and they come in and, you know, and they say, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at five different builders. Well, then it's probably, we're probably not the builder for you because we, it, it's hard. I mean, we're, we want to be the best builder. I don't want to be the cheapest builder, you, you know, and I, and I tell people that all the time. I, I'm going to build you the best home. I can guarantee you that. I don't know if I'll be the cheapest. You know, I, I, no one's ever called me cheap. <laughs> so no, that's, so, no. So, and, and, but, and, you know, we, we, we try and maintain that same philosophy. We put out what I feel and is, is, some of the best hardwood products across this country. We're not the cheapest. We're very competitive, but we're not we're 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 not selling price. Right, right. We're selling quality, well, just like master plan builders. Exactly, and that's exact that's exactly right. And and so, but as we're putting that blueprint together, it really helps because then I have Zach in the design center. And, and, and I'll have him look at the kitchen plan we're looking at and say, you know, what do you think? What, what kind of budget do we need here? And he does our flooring selections and, and, and ceramics and all that stuff, too. So he can look at that and, and give me budgets that are attainable. Yep. You know, when, when you go in cold to, to the Home Depot and nothing against them, I don't know if I should say that. But anyway, but when you go to some of these some of these retail places, you know, you you, uh, you, you don't get the same quality and the same pricing that we're going to give you because we, we're buying as distributors. You know, we're buying our kitchen cabinets as distributors and we install our own products. So we know what it takes to get things done. You know, so we'll give you allowances that are attainable also, you know, and then and then we, we try to put all that package together. And then, you know, usually, usually we'll go to the bank after that, you know, as far as, uh, as far as financing, if somebody is, is financing, you know, so, uh, but. It's, it, it's a process. It's a process. And, and uh, like, uh, like our guys, whether they be our field sales guys, our outside reps, uh, whether they be the guys on the phone, the guys at the counter, especially at the counter, we, we still like to think that when you walk in the door uh, we can take you by the hand go out to the trim building right and you yeah. <laughs> you've experienced it tens of thousands of times uh, and we're paying attention to your needs and together we can achieve that uh, you know cabinetry you mentioned cabinetry interior doors you know the range of interior doors we have entry level doors or we have creme de la creme Right. Yeah. And 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 we can we can accommodate that range like like you folks. Uh, looking back over the over the years, we've we've had uh, individually we've had fantastic careers. Uh, together we've shared uh, a, a fantastic relationship. Anything, anything pop out in your head, you know, a, a, a project, uh, a, a builder supplier relationship, what, what stands out? And you, you mentioned it a little bit earlier, you've, you've been, you've been coming through these doors for, uh, forever, <laughs> Both, all, all oh, yeah, of our, yeah, our yeah. careers, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. thinking back, yeah, you know, it's funny it's, as you're saying that I'm, I'm laughing because, you know, after so many years, you don't, you don't, have, sometimes, some days you don't have a lot of fun. Let's put it that way, right? You know, because I'm old and worry and, uh, you know, I'm bald now. No. <laughs> but no, you know, so, so, so you think, you know, you look for some of the fun things to do, you know, and, it, and it's, it's so funny when I come flying up the steps to your showroom, again, because, you know, the upstairs is off limits. So I'm not supposed to be up there, you know, and people, are, people that haven't been here a long time, look at me like, who the heck are you? You know, and, and then I come in and, and I can catch, you know, Scott and, 
<laughs> you, you know, and, and, and Tim and you and, and Derek, you know, and Matt and, and right. all at one shot, you know, and, and, and so, uh, so I could, you know, I could BS with and Michael, you know, BS yep. with all you guys yep. at, at one time. And, uh, and it's, it's fun. It takes me back those 35 years ago when it was just me and you, you know, oh. so, so now there's more, you know, but I, I mean, I, and, and I don't, you know, I don't get to see that you don't get that camaraderie anywhere else for you know for a lot of a lot a lot of things because i haven't i haven't been here so long and we've had so much fun over the years you know uh just passing through you know whatever yeah. it may be you know even even jerry paul yeah i mean, I mean the, you know he's a relic he's been he's you been, you, he's, you guys you guys dealt with jerry in his previous life like yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah and he's still here i mean you know it yeah. might be one day or two days a week but but so so it's fun to see those I, I mean, I used to I used to send them invitations to my uh, my kids' graduation parties, you know. So that's how how the relationships have gone, you know. And it's I mean that's that's the thing. Even with my subcontractors now, I we still get invited back and forth to different things because a lot of them I've been with for a long time, you know. Right. And it, and it you know it's just that you guys have been the one constant over the years for for so long that I've uh, that I've had a, a a great relationship with and have fun. You know, interacting with it. I, I guess I should say so. Yeah. You, you know, and 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 we're, we've been fortunate in that uh, that this relationship has been has been nurtured, uh, developed, and and it's transformed into something very special over over the last thirty plus years. Uh, we greatly appreciate it here at Baird Brothers. Uh, you guys, you guys have been have been a steadfast customer of ours, and and uh, more importantly, we love seeing you come up those stairs, <laughs> because you're 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 our bud. You're yeah, smiling, just, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and uh, we really do appreciate it uh, for what you guys, how you've supported us over the years, and and uh, we don't have problems. We have we 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 have a challenge. Right. Something something comes up. Okay, how can we get through it? How can how can, how can we fix it? And and it's 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 always been that way, and it, and it will continue to be that way. So, uh, I have to thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule, stopping in the studio three B today, and spending some time and and uh, uh, chewing the fat and sharing some stories. Uh, Continued success to you guys over at Master Plans, you and Bobby and the family. Uh, other than that, I, I'm thinking, guys, if if you want to learn more about Master Plan Builders, go to masterplan.com. Uh, visit their social; they do a fantastic job on their social side, and continue to follow uh, Baird Brothers. We've got more exciting stuff coming up. We're going to talk to some of your some of your buddies, some other builders from the valley here, and 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 uh, just, it's going to be fun. Just remember, you know, I, people always say, "Well, I talk to your competitor." I said, "I don't have any competition." I said, "They want to be my competition, but but they really are." So anyway, <laughs> oh, I'll leave you with that. that. That's a statement there, friend. That's a statement there. Well, hey guys, pay attention. Follow Baird Brothers, BairdBrothers.com, Content Studio, right off of our homepage now and see what we're up to. So until next time, we'll see you later. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at bairdbrothers.com. Until next time, 